Hi there, Libra. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra for the week of the 27th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotion, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And if you'd like to order your own private reading, you can find all of that info in the description box. All right. So I would say that you're probably in separation from somebody. We've got the 10 of wands. That is my dumpster fire card. Uh, this is the Tarot de la Nui. Um, It's a painful ending. It's having emotional burdens or baggage. It can also mean like an issue that you've been ignoring or your person's been ignoring. We've got the five of wands. Um, that is definitely a conflict card. The fives are about conflict. And this one is like a detachment or like a cold distance between the two of you. And it's showing up with the four of swords. This tends to be like my take a break kind of a card. So I think either like they've detached from you or you've detached from them. Four of swords is usually like I need to heal. I need to gather up my thoughts. It's only a matter of time. You can also see another clock showing up here in the eight of swords. I always pay attention to the artwork. Um, eight of swords is like, I need to figure out what to do here. I need to claim my power. I need to get myself out of this self-limiting or self-sabotage, uh, situation. It can mean like you feel tied and bound to someone in this particular case. It's like, you're still asleep or they're still asleep. They're not seeing something here. So they still feel tied and bound to you and you may still feel tied and bound to this person. They're definitely showing up in your energy here. Maybe it's only a matter of time before this kind of um, moves forward or moves sideways or something happens. Um, let's check out your person's energy. Okay, so here is the world in reverse. This is the Tarot de la Nui or Tarot of the Night. I'm going to be using the Lightseer's Tarot to clarify. At the end, I'll pull cards for how this person feels about you as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. Um, the world in reverse is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy, and it's the sense that this connection isn't over, that there's unfinished business here. Um, lessons haven't been learned. It's not time to move forward. Let's check out this person. Hmm. We've got the Five of Swords. That's definitely a conflict between two people. Five of Swords can even be someone who is fighting with themselves. Like part of them wants to do one thing. Part of them wants to do another. Okay. We have the Devil Capricorn Energy. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. The Devil is also like I'm obsessing about someone. It could mean toxic behavior. Um, it could be a karmic connection that you have with this person, or there's a karmic connection that figures into this relationship. Like they can have a karmic connection with someone else and it's interfering or you do. The devil is also like, mm, I'm possessive of you. I'm obsessing about you, doing a lot of thinking about you. Okay. All right. We've got the magician in reverse here. We've got the page of sword showing up as well as the nine of swords. Let me put these in order. So this is someone who does a lot of thinking about you. I do think there's some obsession here. There could also be self-limiting and self-sabotage behavior here with that devil card. Nine of swords is like, I'm up in my head. I'm worrying about this. I'm doing a lot of thinking about you replaying old conversations. It's also like an anxiety card. I do think they're anxious about this connection. 
Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Technically, that's you. But Page of Swords is also like I'm thinking about you. I'm curious about you. I'm wondering what you're up to. Maybe I'm watching you online, um, asking people about you. So there's a lot of thought, but there isn't necessarily any action here. We have the Magician in Reverse, Aquarius and Gemini energy. The Magician in Reverse can be a bit of a used car salesman. It's someone that doesn't tell you necessarily all of the truth. So this person may have held back with you. I think you kind of had to detach here. We have the Ace of Wands. They may have been very conflicted about what they wanted here. We've got the Queen of Swords. That's you. So it's specifically a Libra card. It's also Aquarius and Gemini. So there's a lot of air here. You're in their energy. Ace of Wands is like, I'm very passionately attracted to you. I'm attached to you. I want to pursue you. Um, with the devil showing up here, like this person, there's a, maybe a passion between the two of you. Maybe they only wanted a physical connection but like things have kind of spiraled out of hand. Okay, all right. We've got the two of cups and we have the six of cups. So there's a lot of feeling here. The two of cups is a strong connection to someone. It's feeling like someone is your life partner. There's an attachment. The six of cups is... Like I'm nostalgic for the past. They could be reminiscing about you or again, obsessing or doing a lot of thinking about you. Um, they could feel this soul tie or soul recognition here, but I don't think they've ever acted on this. Um, maybe this person has deliberately kept themselves detached from you. Um, maybe they've gone, have gone back and forth. Let's talk more about this connection and see what's up. Five of Pentacles, missing you. Um, Five of Pentacles is also like, I don't have what I want. I'm not, I don't have resources. This person may not have offered you a commitment. There may have been like not getting what you desired in this connection. And there's the world in reverse. This could be a long distance relationship with the world showing up here. But again, there is unfinished business. I don't feel like this is over. Now, for some of you, if you are done with this person and you never want to deal with this person again, then this is not your reading. Um, this person is energetically showing up, but you can shut that down if you want to. Ooh, and they're heartbroken. Three of Swords. I wonder, like, with that Eight of Swords showing up, were they just not able to tell you how they feel about you? are not able to make it work. Um, they were holding themselves back from getting what they clearly really wanted. So I think it's like you had to let go of this person or you had to just kind of walk away. And now I think they're, they're still tied and bound to you. They haven't moved past this. They haven't moved past you. But I do think this person is kind of their own worst enemy here. Maybe there's an unwillingness to learn the lesson with that world in reverse. And that is about becoming more worldly, like getting your stuff together. All right, let's do a card for how they feel, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. For some of you, I wonder if this person feels like they're in a karmic relationship and they can't leave to be with you or something along those lines. What about their feelings. Okay. Well, we've got the Knight of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords, again, that's that worry. That's the fear, the anxiety. They're obsessing about you. Um, they're definitely doing a lot of thinking about you. Maybe they can't sleep. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius specifically, but also Aquarius, or also um, Leo, also Aries. This person could be a fire sign. 
Um, sometimes that Knight of Wands is like I'm going and chasing after something, but I don't really... I'm in and out of the situation. I, I don't really have any staying power. So this person may pursue you and then you break up. Or they may say they want to move forward with you and then, I don't know, nothing ever comes of it. Okay. I wish I had treated you better. I don't know what to say. I do think they're trying here. Um, I want to tell you how I feel. They're clearly with the feelings here. Let's do one more. I never want to feel that way again. I would say that this is someone who struggles with processing emotion. Um, maybe they also feel like they can't be with you because of like this eight of sword situation where they're kind of tied and bound to somebody else and yet they feel tied and bound to you. Again, there could be a karmic relationship in here for some of you. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it. I would say that this situation isn't over if this is your reading. Um, I would expect this person to pop up again. If you would like a reading of your own, you can find that in the description box. If you would like um, to follow me into the, um, the extended, we're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown, and blessed be.